Where were you for that last Colo video? You better have watched it. You start getting your flow of the shots and all that stuff and talking and thinking of dialogue. And I never play my dialogue for this stuff. I just get out here and start yapping. I took down notes on my phone, but they're still on the phone. I should do better. 2021, I'm gonna do better. Do better a lot of stuff. Go ahead and share it for me, guys. But I gotta go. And now I'm starting to get my patented earache. Peace. Yo, peace and love, guys. Back with another Shattered Backboard One video. This is the second video that I've done. Um, I did a video about these like uh, maybe like in April. The quality wasn't that great, so now we have another pair. We're gonna go ahead and take a close look at them. I will do an on feet. Um, but before we do that, here's a little snippet of the old video. As Jordan played in an exhibition game in Italy in 1986, and they were playing an exhibition game, and Jordan pretty much ran up and got a dunk and shattered the backboard. So that's the story to that. And here's a close look at this shoe, and you can easily tell, like, all of the leather just looks off, especially the black leather. I think the black leather is what killed me. The back, not so bad but it needs to be more, you know, tumbled than that. The white leather's not so bad, but man, they just didn't, they're okay to wear, but they creased immediately. I mean, that doesn't help me doing that, but they creased. So I was like, man, I really want another pair of these, but I didn't want to make another video and months go by and here we are. These are some quick shots from the SBB2s, which are actually my favorite out of the three. And I don't know what it is about these, they just look great. Um, SBB3s, which I was actually surprised by how well they're actually made. I really love these shoes. Like, these are probably second, so that makes the ones number three for me. So, taking a look at the box here, it says nine and a half. These were a buck sixty back then, and um, they say black starfish sail. Okay, and noir also. All right, so what do we got here? What do we got here? We have a beautiful pair of Shattered Backboard Ones, and I'm, I'm really happy about these. At first I was like, ah, I'll, I'll take them. But then I took them out that box. Make sure you check me out on the IG Lives too. That's where I unbox all of my sneakers, and we talk about other things besides sneakers. We just talk about whatever, but make sure you check me out on IG Live. I'm at Color Culture, at Color Clicks. But anyway, so look at the leather man it's just these speak for themselves i don't really have to go all deep and these are starfish and this is black and but you look at the black leather compared to what i showed you earlier look at the orange it has that natural tumble like not that cheap forced tumble always like that on the the tongue there and look at the jordan wing symbol i remember people would be like the, the j doesn't have the little piece I, mean, I don't care about that stuff man the shoe looks amazing and they look great on my feet Here's the um, the other shoe. Now this is the shoe that comes with the one pair of white laces. I think that's all these come with. I never had a retail pair. And when these came out by retail, I wasn't really even in the game, so it didn't really make a difference. I just heard they had great leather. And I'm pointing at stuff to make sure I mention the curvature of the midsole. There's the insole in there, and you guys know I hate taking out the insole. There's two things I don't do. I don't take out insoles and I don't lick the bottom of the shoe like Fat Joe does. Anybody just be licking they sneaker like, yo, I got the new joints, you know what I'm saying? Classic. Uh, Mr. Fat Joe, that is not classy. It is disgusting, <laughs> but let's move on. Uh, oh, but wait, before you move on, he actually doubled down. Listen to this. Stay tuned. Next week, as soon as I get back home, Every single day for seven days, Mach, I'm gonna lick the bottom of a sneaker that's never been worn in like at least three, four, five years. But, <laughs> man, was he crazy back then or something? This was like eight years ago, so I know people change, but that sneaker licking thing, I'm so glad that went away. I hope it went away. But anyway, let's jump into the black light. This is what I found in the black light. Pretty much a bunch of nothing and a little bit of glue in the same spots. I always find it. Um, and that's just going to be the nature of any Jordan 1 pretty much it's going to have those little glue marks there's no stitching marks there's no marks actually like when they mark it up there's no lines there's no crosses there's nothing like this the shape looks great and look at the leather on the black light like the tumble leather looks amazing under the black light and I like tumble leather to a degree the whole shoe doesn't have to be tumble leather but it has to be good tumble leather when you're using it 
But I mean, that's just me. There's nothing on this shoe. And before I let you guys go, or before we jump into the on feet part of the video, take a look at these laces I got from Roble Supply. They've got like the rust looking tips or copper tips. Beautiful sail that matches perfectly. This is 63 inch from them. And I, I really like them, but I put the black lace back in. I, I just couldn't do it. But some of you guys might like it. Much better. Yeah, I gotta go drop off a package from the last giveaways winner. Shout out to you, D'Angelo. And then I actually have to go to work. I had an appointment this morning. Thanks for being patient on this video. This one's taking me a little time. You kind of caught me in the middle of my vacation, but it is what it is. Shout out to everybody that's already thumbs the video up. Shout out to everybody that's already thumbs the video down. You know I love you all the same. But let's get rolling. I'm gonna find somewhere to do an on feet, but I gotta hit the post office real quick. Package delivered. Now I gotta head to work, get some work done, come home and edit this video. Like this little bit of footage I'm putting together for the on feet. I'm gonna try to edit this tonight. So um, let's just keep going. like it's two o'clock going on three i know that seems like a lot of time but right now it gets dark easily like 4 30 boom it's dark so yeah let's step outside probably not the best spot but it's gonna have to do so put the camera down get these shots and that's a wrap pretty much it for the video i'm gonna go edit this thing hopefully i'll have it out by today if not don't worry yingzi i got you i think i got enough footage that's it guys peace and love peace and love another giveaway coming soon they never won olympics, olympics here barcelona number nine b no Like five grand on the e 